How about scorpions? They're common in the desert, but one Palm Desert woman claims she's come across an invasive venomous scorpion species in her home. News Channel 3's Bianca Ventura investigates the potential spread of the venomous Arizona bark scorpion. It didn't look like any scorpion we'd ever seen before. Two weeks after Lindsay Reynolds moved into her Palm Desert home, she came across this unwanted neighbor, leading her to contact an exterminator. So we brought them some samples. Um, they sent them to an entomologist and confirmed that they were actually, in fact, the Arizona bark scorpion. Reynolds has since been on the hunt. She even provided me with a live species of what she believed to be the Arizona bark scorpion. We took it to the Coachella Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District to verify. We have found them and we have verified that they're in North India at this point. According to biologists from the district's lab, the scorpion from Reynolds' home was not an Arizona bark scorpion because it didn't contain the small tooth just underneath its stinger. Reynolds sharing her biggest concern of the species spreading throughout the valley. In the event of an emergency, where should we be going to get the antivenin? Do you know if Eisenhower has that antivenin available? As far as I know, we don't, and I don't believe any hospitals in the Coachella Valley do. Dr. Friedman, a toxicologist with Eisenhower Health, says in the majority of cases, antivenom is not needed. In most cases, some pain medication and sometimes some antispasmodics are enough to control the symptoms of being stung. Those most at risk include small children and the elderly. In Indio, Bianca Ventura, News Channel 3. Dr. Friedman says in the past two years, one person in the high desert area has needed the anti-venom and they were able to fly it in from Arizona.